we haven't been able to see our grandson in about eight months. And he's lived with us and my daughter. Um, well, both of their whole lives. And there's no reason for us not to see him. And I'm wondering if we have uh, any legal rights. Well, grandparents' rights, Jack. Unfortunately, grandparents don't have a lot of rights. Now, in your situation, you mentioned that uh, you had, this child had lived with you all of its life and, and that you're very involved in the life of this child. That may change the situation a little bit for you. You need to talk with an attorney uh, about that situation uh, and see if there isn't something that can be done to get you some type of visitation. Okay. Okay, so that's, uh, I'm guessing uh, that comes into play a lot too. We're not just talking about parents, we're talking about grandparents too involved in the mix. Right, yes. I think, I think in today's modern society we have uh, children having children uh, and we have our grandparents or those children's parents raising those kids. And what happens is, is over time, especially early on, you know, for the first three or four years, you know, you have an absent parent, you have a parent there who's living with their parents. Uh, and that connection and that bond grows a, a great deal. And so there, I think our legislature, they did pass some laws that do give uh, grandparents rights. But like Jack said, you have to have a substantial connection to what's going on. And, and, and there's just a laundry list of tick items uh, that you need to meet. If you meet those things, then it is likely that a court could award you some time, but uh, it's certainly not going to be the kind of time that people would feel like you have custody.